Hey there, it's Dr. Scott Watson with a video on working with transposing instruments in Finale. So what are transposing instruments? Well, it turns out I have a video exactly on that. It discusses the topic of transposing instruments and non-transposing instruments, also called concert pitch instruments. Check out that video before you proceed with this video. So basically, there are two approaches to working with transposing instruments in Finale. The first is one of a composer or arranger, somebody who's thinking up the notes and deciding what they want as they go along. And those people generally work in concert pitch. They, they work at the piano, say. And then later on, they transpose the instruments for um, the trumpet in B-flat or the French horn in F or the alto sax in E-flat. The other is the role of a copyist or a typesetter, somebody who's already got a part or got some music that's been transposed and they just want to reproduce that. So we'll discuss both of those approaches. Okay, let's take a look at that first scenario, the one of the composer or arranger. For instance, here's a four-part hymn originally notated for voice parts, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. So all of these voice parts are in concert pitch, but let's just say I want to make an arrangement for a mixture of instruments, oboe on the soprano part, B-flat clarinet on the alto part, E-flat alto sax on the tenor part, and then cello on the bass part. So let's go ahead and set up a score like that. In fact, I have a finale document that has that SATB or soprano alto tenor bass. So to that, I'm going to use um, the score manager here in the window menu, score manager. And I'm going to go ahead and add the four instruments that I want to add. Uh, we said uh, oboe. So um, let's go into wind ensemble, woodwinds, oboe. We'll add that. We're going to add a B flat clarinet. That'll be our alto. And then we're going to add an E flat alto sax as our tenor. And then for our uh, bass part, we're just going to add a um, cello. So we'll go into string instruments and uh, cello. All right. And I'm going to put the piano part. Um, let's move that down so it's on the bottom of our score here. All right, so we have oboe, clarinet, alto sax, cello. That's S-A-T-B, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. And then piano, we'll leave it on the, the score so we can uh, see the notes as we work. All right, so here is our score. I'm going to use the staff tool and select all these staff handles for the oboe, clarinet, alto sax, and cello and go into the staff menu and groups and brackets. I'm going to create um, a group here. So let's uh, use this bracket here. It looks cool. And um, yeah, for all measures. And go ahead and say OK. And you'll see out in the score then we have this nice group bracket that uh, unifies these um, four instrument parts. So now we have our score set up. OK, so now it's time to actually score that hymn for the four instruments. Now, two of the instruments are concert pitch instruments, and they're going to be quite easy to put in. So for instance, I could use my speedy entry method and put in the um, uh, soprano part on the alto. All right. Oops, that should be a half note. Uh, I could also, by the way, hyperscribe the um, the cello part. So I could play that that lowest note that you see in the left hand piano, which is the bass part. I could actually play that. Um, using hyperscribes. Let me choose the hyperscribe tool here. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, play. All right, so one way or another, we get our uh, concert pitch instruments, uh, and they have the same notes that we see in the piano part. Now, to do the clarinet and the alto sax, I'm going to turn off transposition. Here's how you do that. You go to the document menu, and you say display in concert pitch. Now the clarinet and alto sax parts are being displayed as if they were concert pitch instruments rather than transposing instruments. And then I can go ahead and uh, put those in anyway. Like again, I could use speedy entry for the clarinet part. So I'm going to actually play in those Ds that we see in the alto part and then the C's. So here I am just using speedy entry. right? And for the alto sax, let me go ahead back to hyperscribe just to show you we could do that. One, 
and I'll play the exact pitches I see in the tenor part. One, two, here I go. Now those are quite low, right? Uh, quite low notes for the alto sax, but it's not really what the alto sax would play because once I turn concert pitch off and I go back to their transposed, you know, the notes that the alto sax actually needs to see and the notes that the clarinet actually needs to see so that it sounds correct, look at this, boom, now it's well within their range. So that's the magic of finale, is finale allows you to play it in in concert pitch and then it will take the transposition and do it for you. And now we have, you can see the oboe is in the key of G, but the clarinet is in the key of A, three sharps, which is a step higher, which is what it needs to be. The alto sax is in the key of E, a major sixth higher, which is what it needs to be. And then of course the cello is back in concert pitch. Oh, and one little mistake, I just realized that when I was hyperscribing that cello part, I missed the very first note timing wise. So I'm just gonna use the speedy entry, double click on the G to replace that rest with the quarter note that we actually need there. Okay, let's move on to that second approach. This is the one where you're the typesetter. And in this scenario, you're the copyist, not the creator. Uh, so you're not composing, you're just uh, recording what's already been written. So an example might be if you wanna notate, say the B flat trumpet part for this symphonic band composition. Um, so you can see the flute, oboe, and bassoon, the top three parts, they're in the key of B flat, two flats. They're concert pitch instruments. That's truly the key of the piece, B flat. But if you look down at the trumpet part, those have no sharps, no flats. That's the key of C. They're notated a step higher as transposing instruments. They, they actually will sound in the key of B flat, but they're notated a step higher. So let's say we wanted to notate this first trumpet part. What's cool about finale is it will allow you to just, you know, play those notes in um, the C and the G and the G. They are already transposed, but you don't have to figure that out. You can just play the notes in as you see them and Finale will know that it's a B-flat trumpet part and it will take care of adjusting for the transposition. So here is that published first trumpet part in B-flat and um, we're gonna go ahead and typeset it. Uh, so what I've done is I've created a blank uh, finale document so that I can use either speedy entry or hyperscribe to play those notes in and, and demonstrate that you can play them in in transposed pitch and Finale will handle the transposition for you. Okay, so I'm going to use speedy entry um, to put these notes in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play that C and use the shortcut 4, G, 4, 4, 5 for that quarter note. The A is a um, 4, and then the B flat is 4 with a dot, dotted um, eighth, and the 16th is 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 with a dot, 3, 4, All right, so I've got um, three measures in using Speedy, and you can see they match the same um, appearance of the notes in the original. Now, if I turn this display and concert pitch on, you'll see that really the notes are a step lower. Um, the key signature is really the key of B flat. And by the way, here's what a B flat sounds like. Now, let me go back to turning off that display in concert. Now I'm going to play C. See, it sounds the same. So Finale has taken care of um, just allowing me to hear the true pitches, even though I'm playing in the transposed pitches, so that I can play what's on the page. And it just makes it easier to uh, typeset a transposed part. So the great news is, whether you're a composer or arranger, starting with concert pitch music that then needs to be transposed for transposing instruments, or whether you're starting with an already transposed uh, music that you want to typeset easily by playing in the transposed notes, um, and Finale recognizes that it's a transposed instrument and knows what the concert pitch uh, pitches should be. Finale's got you covered either way. Good luck working in Finale with your transposing instruments.